I barely made it out of there alive. I was literally running on E like the whole time. My fuel gauge, being a typical YJ, isn't accurate, so I don't ever know exactly what I'm at. I could actually have five gallons in the tank, I have no idea. I have a 20 gallon tank, so I always measure by whatever's left after. So like if it only fills up 15 gallons, then I probably still have five gallons. Either way, I don't like running low on fuel, especially when I'm far away from a city and being alone, I can't just you know call anybody up to come rescue me. So Sean and Brody actually pulled out ahead of me and drove down to Prescott. Me and Sean both wanted to go to a gym. I actually need to try to get a shower in because I haven't got a shower in the last couple of days. Apparently the Prescott gym is pretty big. We're gonna go there and then hopefully get some Chipotle. I love Chipotle. Chipotle is my life. We camped out at a place that Sean recommended yesterday. Really good views. You could actually see Sedona off in the distance where we were camping last and apparently it was right around the corner. Sean said there's a way to get there through the back roads but he's never tried it before. I'm sure he probably could have just Googled it. Either way, that was really nice to see. Just had a great view out there. Like I said yesterday, the bumper held up great. Huge shout out to Sean for helping me out with that. I couldn't have done this without him. I would have had to pay probably $100 to pay a welder to get that all fixed up. So him helping me out really helped me a lot, saved me a lot of money and just continues to help support me while I get on this journey. So go check out his YouTube channel if you haven't yet, Sean's Jeep Life. He's an awesome guy. He's got a great setup and his dog, his dog is a really interesting dog, but you gotta go check him out. I thought that Sean went to Prescott to go to an Anytime Fitness. Turns out he actually went back to his house, which isn't a problem or anything, except now I'm behind and he's waiting for me at Chipotle. So now he's sitting there and I'm about 12 minutes away. He's been there for about five minutes, so I feel really bad. I hate being held up, and so I feel bad when I hold other people up. I'm trying to record and also drive a standard and also make turns and I probably should focus on my driving. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, Sean and I just got out of Walmart, had to buy some groceries. The last couple of nights we've been camping, we've been like, what are we gonna eat? And of course, went back to the classic potatoes and eggs yesterday. It was pretty good, but I'm able to carry food a little bit more easily because I have a fridge. Sean's still using the classic cooler setup. So he had some spoiled meat from just sitting in ice. I guess his ice melted and it went bad. My only issue has been my plit, my fridge. Um, the battery's been dying more often than usual lately. I think it's because I've been charging a lot more stuff, like my computer and stuff. But then also, um, it kept getting unplugged. So that was becoming an issue. I probably need to double check and make sure it's still plugged in when I get in there. So that was pretty much it for today, I think. Got some stuff done. Didn't really do too much. Uh, had some fun camping last night. Got to make a fire and stuff. I was going to film once we get up to the camping spot, but it looks like the sun's already going down, so I don't know if I'm going to have any light once we get out there. So today is the last day of November, which means tomorrow is December 1st, aka my 20th birthday. I'm turning 20 old. Or just old, I'm turning old. So for my birthday, um, not really sure what we're going to be doing. I bought myself some Pepsi. Definitely going to be having coffee and some other things. And of course we're going to be camping, so it should be a good time. Something that has been kind of mentioned multiple times in my vlogs is uh, what exactly I'm going to name the Jeep. Now, in case you don't know, the Jeep actually did have a name a long time ago. And I just didn't feel like that name fit for her anymore. And so I wanted to change it and I couldn't really think of what to change it. When I decided I wanted to change it, I had an exact name in mind, but over the time, I just didn't seem like it was gonna fit quite right for many reasons, but I could never really get the name out of my head because it seems like the most fitting for its circumstances. Especially now, I still think that it's the only name that really fits, and because of that, I think it's what I'm gonna name her. Reason being is because it does have a story behind it and I feel like that gives it a little bit more of a deeper meaning to actually have a story behind the name and not just have it be like old heifer or something dumb like that. I knew I wanted it to have sentimental value and that was the hardest part about coming up with a name for her but 
I think I do actually have a name and I feel like naming the Jeep will actually add a lot more depth to the channel and I've been holding it off for a long time even though I knew what I wanted to name her and I think that I am finally ready to say what the name is. So officially the Jeep's name is Son of a Biscuit. Jeep broke. The spark, it's not sparking. It's got fuel, but it's not sparking. Don't know why. Best guess is the crankshaft position sensor. So we're gonna run to O'Reilly's. Sean's gonna help me out. We're gonna run there, replace the sensor, and hope that that's all. If not, um, Sean's ditching me and I'm spending the night at a Walmart parking lot. <laughs> How's she looking, Sean? Well, you're gonna stay here tonight, it looks like. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. There you go. Let's see if you got spark. That's the spark.